Hey, what's up, man? Sean here. This is the Living Waters Man Up Men's Bible Study for May 6, 2020. And I hope you all are doing great. Can't wait to see you. I know a lot of us are connected via text and talking on the phone. And I just want to encourage you to keep doing that. Uh, whether we meet in person or whether we don't meet in person during the week, man, let's just keep connecting with each other. And and uh, like I always say, when we meet in the group, man, that's the secret sauce that what happens during the week and what happens uh, in relationships when we're strengthening each other and encourage each other. I want to encourage you with this word, with this thought. It's found in uh, Luke 16, verse 10. It talks about being faithful with little things. Jesus said that who can be faithful with little things will be faithful with even greater things. He also says in Matthew 13, he talks about the, a little yeast working its way through the whole dough. So the kingdom of heaven is like that. He also talks about the mustard seed in Matthew 13, how it's the smallest of the seeds, but when you plant it, it's one of the largest plants of the entire garden, so much so that birds can nest in there. Uh, even though it starts small, it, it becomes great. And um, I want to tell you that, man, the little things in life really matter. And if you get the little things right, little things, enough little things add up to big things and greater things. And so as men, as leaders, we got to do the little things well. I was watching these guys at work this week. I was watching a couple of them. A couple of them were doing the right thing. And then I saw one guy cutting corners. And I walked up to him and said, hey, man, you know, the right way to do the job is to do this, this, and this. I know you probably weren't trained like that, but I'm just telling you, over the course of time, if you do these little things, they're going to add up. To great things and if you do it well and do it the right way the first time essentially being faithful with the little things man there's all kinds of great things that can happen and isn't that true about life i mean that you can apply this principle that jesus gives us about the importance of little things and how they add up and make a difference over time you could apply that to your relationships you know it could be as simple as you know one of the things that um in our marriage you know, when I leave, I give my wife a departing kiss and tell her I love her, whether she's awake or not. It could be in the morning, could be in the afternoon. But when we leave, when we de when we leave each other's presence, I want to make sure that she knows that I love her and I give her a kiss. And then when I come home, I give her a kiss and tell her I love her. I, I greet her with a loving greeting. And we've always done that, almost 22 years of marriage. It's just one of the things that we do. It's one of the building blocks. And um, and I'll tell you what, though, if I were to come home or leave and not kiss her, I want to hear about it. Because that and that may be just a little thing, man. It's it's a little kiss. It's a little greeting. It's a little affection. But man, I'm telling you, if I didn't do it one time or if I didn't do it a second time or a third time, you start seeing a wedge that forms. And that's a little thing. But that little thing. Man, it just it could just totally go the opposite direction. I've seen that so many times in relationships. You know, people get used to each other and comfortable with each other. They used to hold hands when they were in love and then the older they get, the more, you know, they become familiar with each other. They stop holding hands, they stop kissing. And then a big wedge, you know, and those are little things, but man, a big wedge gets driven in between them. And we watched this couple, another example, we watched this couple, we were on vacation, we looked over and there was this couple and they both had their phones and they were on their phone, you know, the entire dinner. We just thought it was so weird. They weren't even talking to each other. They're looking at each other's phones. But I bet you 10 years ago, ain't nobody have a phone at the table. You know what I mean? It's just something that we have now. We got devices in everybody's hands. But I bet that couple, when they first started going out, they were thinking like, hey, man, I hope, you know, I can just look at my phone instead of talking or, you know, being intimate. And uh, I bet you at one point, man, they were, they just, they just probably pulled their phone out and just started looking at it. And then that turned to a little bit more and a little bit more. And before you know it, all they do is look at their phones and they're not even relating to each other. And a big wedge is driven between them. And those are little things, but man, I'm telling you, those little things add up to big things. And so if you and I are going to walk out the plan and the purpose and the promises that God has for us, man, we got to do the little things well. We got to be faithful with the little things. When no one's looking, we got to be faithful. Get in your Bible, you know, 
Pray every single day. Don't go a day without it, man. Get a street going. Get a Bible street going. Every day you're in your word. Every day you and I, man, we're digging into God's word. Don't let a get, day go by because one day we'll turn it to two, we'll turn it to three. And before you know it, hey, it's been a couple of weeks. We hadn't been in our word like we need to. Those are little things, but man, those little things add up, man. I hope this blesses you. I hope this, um, this word encourages you. Maybe you can apply it to your work life. Maybe you can apply it to your relationship. Maybe there's something in your life right now that even as highlighting the scripture that, uh, that encourages you to maybe do some of those little things. I do want to share one more thing. I found this and uh, it's so true. It was written in the late 1800s by the Christian writer. Uh, his name's E.G. White. He put it this way. He said, it is one of Satan's most successful devices to lead men to the commission of little sins, to blind the mind to the danger of little indulgences, little digressions from the plainly stated requirements of God. Many who would shrink with horror from some great transgression are led to look upon sin in little matters of trifling consequence. But those little sins eat out the life of godliness in the soul. That was written in 1887. And I thought that was, man, it really spoke to me, man, that stand the test of time, man. Jesus, 2,000 years ago, talks about the little things. And even today, today, they really, really matter, man. God bless you, man. I hope this blesses you. Take care. We'll see you soon.